Kevin McCullough Jr., the 56th pick, somebody that everybody seemingly forgot about. A lot of people didn't even remember that we chose him with the 56th pick. Well, you know what? We did. And in the process, by choosing him and adding him to this team, we have now found another defensive monster. That's right. We're talking about players that can come in and play right now. Kolick can do that. You know who else can do that? Kevin McCullough Jr., especially on defense. You want to talk about who potentially in this draft could turn out to be the next Josh Hart? You have him. You have him on this roster. Kevin McCullough Jr. is a hustler. He plays top-notch defense. And under Tom Thibodeau, he is going to carve out a role. When you play defense the way this kid does, the only thing you know how to do is win and play hard. What else does Tom Thibodeau ask of each and every player on his team? He already does that, and he hasn't played one game yet. The Knicks stole him at 56. Let's break him down a little bit and a little bit more about his game because I don't think a lot of people give him credit or even give the Knicks credit for drafting this kid. Again, Kolick, great. Bacom Dadier, great. Already did videos about those guys. You guys can watch it on the channel. Kevin McCullough Jr. has had no type of attention until right now. Let's talk about him a little bit. Shout out to the Strickland for giving us the following information about Kevin McCullough Jr. Again, the 56 pick by the Knicks in the second round. And this was Kansas assistant coach Norm Roberts talking about how well he's going to fit on the Knicks. According to Roberts, he'll fit in perfectly with the Knicks. He probably has as high of a defensive IQ as any player I've ever been around in my life. And he's tough as nails. So he'll go and guard a six foot nine guy or go and guard a five foot 11 guy. There is no in between with this kid. He is going to guard anybody that you put in front of him and anybody that has the unfortunate circumstance to be playing basketball in front of this kid. He is going to make you pay. He is going to hound you. He is going to make sure you feel uncomfortable. And then when you least expect it, he's going to steal the ball away from you. This is what this kid is doing. And shout out to Peter Bott, somebody from the New York Post, who gave us the following information on McCuller and what he believes in him. Now, he made the comparison that Nick's tough-as-nails draft pick, Kevin McCuller Jr., is very similar to Josh Hart. You have two people, two potential NBA insiders, people who have watched this game significantly for a lot of time, already stating that this kid is a Josh Hart type of player. He plays like Josh Hart. If you ask Tom Thibodeau right now, what players would you like to develop for the future? I'm pretty sure his answer would be, get me more players like Josh Hart. Well, they did that. Shout out to the Knicks for doing that and stealing this kid. I got to say it again, stealing him with the 56 pick. If Tyler Kolick gives you all that offense, McCuller gives you all of that defense. He is just ridiculous. And again, according to Peter Bott, he states, he probably has as high of a defensive IQ as any player I've ever been around in my life. The reason he's saying that is because when you watch somebody play, and we're about to show you the highlights of this kid playing, and you see this kid, and you see this kid pick up a player from half court, and he runs with this player all the way from half court to mid court, excuse me, half court. And then when he's going past baseline, He's still keeping him in front of him, trying to shut him down and steal the ball. And not at any moment does he give up on the play. That's who the Knicks just got. The Knicks have some dogs on the summer league roster made up entirely almost of Tyler Kolek, Kevin McCuller Jr., and Ariel Huckaporty. But let's take a look of some of the highlights that we have here of Kevin McCuller Jr., there you go. So you see the defense already. You see the defense already. Look at that. Look, look, look. Already stopping players using his hand. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the sequence, though. Look at the sequence. Pick them up full court. Still on him. Still on him. Half court. Still on him. Keeping him in front of him. Still on him. Still on him. Steals the ball. Dives on the floor and steals the ball. That's what I'm talking about. This is his highlight tape. It's not a whole bunch of offense. It's a whole bunch of defense. This is what this kid does. Look at him hounding the ball, hounding the player who has the ball, never giving up on the play, blocking shots, 
keeping his, de his defender in front of him so he never misses him, stealing the ball, working the passing lanes. This is the type of kids you need on your team. And they drafted him with the 56 pick, folks. They stole him. Look at this kid. Never letting up. Check out this other defensive play here. Nope. Uh-uh. Get out of here. It doesn't stop. He continues to press on, continues to press these players, continues to make sure they are uncomfortable when they're on the floor with him. What else could you want as a defensive player when you're out there? What else could you want as a coach? Look at him. Doesn't let this kid go. Look, look, look. Still gets the ball. He guarded him all the way up from that wing spot, all the way till he made his way into the paint. And then even when he did that, he put his body in front of him, kept his hands up and then hit the ball away. This is the kid the Knicks have right now. And because the Knicks have this kid, we are talking about that level of defense potentially in the summer league. The summer league. You talk about the Knicks having one of the best defensive squads in the NBA when they start the NBA regular season. Let's talk about Kevin McCuller Jr. and the nightmares he's going to give opposing players in summer league on defense. Did you see his tape? Did, did you see what we just saw there? The man does not stop. He, he doesn't stop. He chases you. He continues to chase you. And then when you think you've made it out of Dodge, he continues to put a body in front of you, has his hands out, not fouling you, not hacking you, making sure you make a bad move, and then he blocks your shot, grabs the rebound, makes sure the ball doesn't go out of bounds, dives on the floor and gets it back to a teammate so we can have another offensive play. What do you want? What do you want from a rookie besides this kid and what he does right now? I think any coach would tell you immediately. Defense is one of the hardest things to teach any rookie. You come into the league defending like that and you have offense to boot as well. And your offense can get better, especially under a team we have right now. We're talking about a team that has Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, Mikel Bridges. You're telling me that rookies are not going to benefit from playing with those guys? They're not going to develop from playing with those guys? They're not going to get better playing with those guys? Kevin McCullough Jr., if he can play defense... At that level now, what happens after one year of Tom Thibodeau? Maybe he becomes that next bench piece that we need. And if that happens, the Knicks are developing their stars for the future. Isn't that what we wanted? Isn't that the goal? Isn't that the goal every year? Improve this roster. Try to make us a championship contending team. Oh, yeah. And by the way, if you can, Draft the right players and the right rookies and turn them into something special. Increase their value. The Knicks are doing all of that. They've done all of it now. If you enjoyed these clips from the live show, be sure to subscribe to the channel and have notifications turned on so you don't miss any new episodes or when we go live. Thanks for watching, Knicks fans. And until next time, peace.